That's the microphone one too. Good afternoon folks, welcome back to the channel after uh, me being a week on a holiday. Uh, I have been continuing the uh, Ceylon campaign because in all honesty I wanted to be done with it. So I'll use some screenshots to get you folks up to date. I think in game it's already 16.90. So let's see what happened so far. When we uh, last left off the stream, I think we uh, were nearing bankruptcy and we just finished the war. And uh, we just got invaded by the Ottomans in 16, I don't know, 50. We got invaded by the Ottomans who, uh, after integrating their vassal Afghanistan, snaked their way to border us in Ceylon. So I was like, yeah, great. At least Ming uh, protected us, but yeah, Ming took exploration and uh, most of their troops are in America. And they didn't have a lot of mandate. As you can see, it's, uh, it's at 60 over here. So yeah, we had a little bit of an issue there. Uh, I can see the uh, screenshot is not entirely... Oh, wait a moment, I gotta enlarge this. Oh, wait a moment. It's small in it, looks like. Just a moment here. Yeah, that looks better. Something like that. Yeah, as I was saying, Ming's mandate was tanking due to Shagatai being a really powerful horde and uh, bordering Ming, triggering the disaster for Ming. That can happen if, an, uh, if a large, unchecked, non tributary horde is bordering Ming. Then they can get a, a disaster that uh, can actually lower their mandate and whatnot. Anyhow, we went uh, bankrupt right when uh, the Ottomans declared we weren't planning on fighting. The Ming was uh, protecting us, and I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? Just go bankrupt. As uh, we have done countless of times in this uh, campaign already. The Ottoman just spilled in, and in the end, uh, we give it. We gave them this. We just gave them three provinces, not anything in the regions we we have to convert for the achievement, and we released Gujarat. I honestly, I couldn't do anything better. But at least the Ottomans killed some. Uh, they killed some of our uh, rebels during the bankruptcy, which is basically why I declare why I uh, declared bankruptcy during that war. Simply to make sure the Ottomans and Ming for a little bit over here uh, actually killed our rebels. Now that we weren't in bankruptcy anymore, we uh, just started expanding again, meaning uh, Shagatai. This was no joke of a war, because Shagatai is like uh, holding the entire northwest Punjabi terrain of India that we uh, got a hold. Uh, it was me, just me versus them, so I went up to full force limit and just invaded them. They got a, a little. They didn't protect these uh, this fort. They did protect that one, so, but we got them really quick. By the time uh, the main troops from uh, Shagatai actually arrived here, we managed almost to uh, occupy two of them. In the end, uh, we had to abandon that siege because, yeah, reasons. Uh, they were attacking us here and they came en masse with like all their army down there. I think Shagatai at this point had like, I don't know, 90k army, 100k army or something like that. And they were a horde, so yeah. But too careful the micromanaging, we just managed to uh, wipe stray stacks that got rotted on the fort or anywhere else. Because we actually occupied this uh, little fort here, Shagatai was in, couldn't route to their home terrain. They just couldn't because uh, it, project, it projected zone of control and all the provinces next to it. And we just played that game on and on and on. We waited until the uh, stacks from Shagatai arrived and we just outmaneuvered them, engaged them. What them? In the end, we got the, the uh, siege of Lahore done, 
And uh, the reason why I started the war on Shagatai was basically uh, coalition reasons. We've had a coalition war before and in all honesty I didn't want to have uh, another one. Um, what I did was declare on Shagatai, why? So I could start a, a war on their um, tributaries uh, after declaring on the Overlord. So they actually, Shagatai made tributaries of uh, the One Province Minor Punjab over here, from uh, Garwal over here, and I think that's it. We also started a war versus uh, Orissa and 100% of them. All in all, this was basically another of those clean-up wars to uh, get rid of possible coalition targets members. Coalition members, rather. The real fight was on versus Shagatai, though, but they kept messing around here and uh, foolishly walking on my occupied forts so I could engage them. And as said before, because I occupied this fort, they had nowhere to run up north because it projected zone of control in all of the possible problems they could actually run to. And this is what happened as a result. So this stack here got routed on the fort of Lahore and actually got routed all the way up there here to the routed provinces which I deliberately left open just to uh, make sure they uh, get routed here. So I arrived there first, the stack that was here got out maneuvered, they went up north and this stack just got wiped. Bam. In the end uh, most of the troops from Shagatai were already killed and I just started focusing up here again hoping for one little thing since the start of the war and that was Ming declaring on the horde also to get their uh, to get them back as a tributary as you can see the, the war started with 60 uh, mandate from Ming it already got tanked to 40 thanks to this uh, disaster that Ming has and because Ming has, is not is uh, having uh, multiple non-tributary uh, neighbors. In the end, uh, Shagatai just started some stray sieges left and right, and we just wiped them all. And uh, I just defended here. I never went up north, I think, in this war. We just defended up here, wiping troops left, right, center, and just uh, killing everybody that we see. So now. Shagatai actually placed something there. I already engaged Punjab. I, I, now I engaged Garwal. We already engaged Orissa. So all the possible coalition members down and out. And then it uh, happened what I was hoping that would happen. Ming actually declared war on Shagatai. Even if Ming does not use force tributary CB, they can still make any nation a tributary with 80% war score. So I was hoping for that. But this is a nice diversion. Ming, even though they got no mandate, oh yeah, the horde was really weakened by me, and this is what I was hoping for. In the end, we just uh, wiped that army on the uh, mountain fort again, and that was the last we ever heard from uh, we ever heard from Shagatai. We we made a peace with Punjab, we made a peace with Orissa, we made a peace with Garwal, and we just full annexed them all, cored them all and uh, done with it. Now that Ling was actually distracting uh, people up in the north, we actually used our armies to get some more sieges done in uh, Shagatai. Ming was already over here, Shagatai was once again going down, but yeah, we were already having 80% war score, but I wanted to go for the full 100%, and what, would I, what did I do? So we full annexed uh, Punjab here, Punjab also had a cores over here and we just released them. Why? I don't know, in hindsight it probably was a stupid idea. Because uh, my plan was to do reconquest for the cores of Punjab, which is basically everything. There is at Multan, Lahore, Silkat, Mangrilla and Sagar. But then I remembered, yeah, we cannot do any exploits because that's my rule. If you actually do reconquest, for cores of a vassal, while being a tributary, 
the uh, aggressive expansion for said reconquest goes to your overlord. So in the end, yeah, it didn't really matter, but oh well, I'll live, I'll live with uh, Punjab as a vassal. We just granted them uh, the former area of Ladakh, and the plan was now to uh, make Timurids a vassal through uh, making a claim on them. And uh, after that was done, after Punjab was a vassal and happy, we uh, saw that uh, Pegu was once again uh, not being protected by anybody and a possible coalition member, just so we just went for them. Even though it would generate tons of aggressive expansion, as long as I keep the rest on two cycles, a coalition would never form. We just engaged them head on on, uh, on uh, our vessel of Manipur. And, um, oh yeah, by the way, we took, uh, can I show that here? Yeah. We actually engaged Sean also. I don't I didn't I have one? Uh, it seems like I didn't have screenshots of that war. Anyhow, before the first screenshot I show, I've shown with uh, the Ottoman war, we actually invaded Shan and took all the provinces we needed for the achievement, and released a vassal on it. Um, released uh, this vassal on it. We also engaged Pegu. I really don't get why I don't have screenshots of this. Or was it already in the last stream? I almost. Cannot recall, but anyhow, this is the second war versus Pegu. We already had this terrain, basically all the uh, coastline and the centers and the estuaries over here. But this is now a war to finish them off. A 100% peace deal wiped Pegu off the map was on the table. So we just engaged them in our vessel of uh, Manipur and we uh, wiped them in the end on this terrain. This was the peace deal we were looking for. This is wiping Pegu off the map, which is basically always what I do. Eliminate any possible coalition member by just annexing them or putting them on a truce with threatened war or whatever. We actually released Tongu in the hopes of this, and it worked. We, they actually became our vassals. Just because uh, if I would engage Shan or Dai Viet or anybody else, they would receive aggressive expansion and then there would be another. I just didn't want them to ally to anybody and be another possible coalition member. In the end, uh, Ming actually restored order. You, can, you get this pop-up if Ming gets the uh, disaster. And Ming actually made Shagatai a tributary again, restoring order and their mandate ticked from 45 back up to 100. Thanks to that. Rebels galore, but oh yeah, we took one and eight just for the rebels. People taking humanists for the rebels, yeah, <laughs> that's your opinion. Humanism is uh, really overpowered by the way in the last, last patches, but I still like to just engage the rebels head on. Because yeah, in the early 17th century you got a harsh treat and lower autonomy and this and that and even then uh, humanism cannot help versus the rebels so uh or well, maybe it can but anyhow we took quantity just to get enough manpower to deal with the rebels then it was a, a period of peace and we saw the commonwealth going hand i've seen this happen quite a few times the commonwealth on very hard if they take Military quality and good ideas like defensive quality and uh, I don't know quantity offensive stuff like that They tend to become a powerhouse. They already nibbled at most of the HRE and now they just Flat on engage the HRE again Bavaria And the Commonwealth here you can see it a little bit better. They actually won versus all that <laughs> yeah, Don't ask They will expand even more, but that's something for later we now uh, integrated Manipur, making a really clean border with Chan. And um, Muscovy was actually going for Shagatai, weakening them even further. Um, if you go like, wait, what? Muscovy engaged Shagatai before Ming made them a tributary. So the Ming didn't get called in because they probably, I don't know how it works, maybe they, they already had 25 war, war score, so Ming couldn't get called in, but I think if you become a tributary after somebody uh, 
is invading you. You can never call the Overlord in, I think, but I'm not sure. Oh, Syrian. Oh, really? Yeah, that can happen. It's, it, it all depends. Uh, the success the success of the Commonwealth on Very Hard and on any game is, is uh, really dependent on uh, how powerful the HRE Emperor is. You're right in that. I'm not even sure. Let's take a look. Uh, I think it's still Austria. I think it's a Catholic Empire that is uh, over here. But it didn't matter in the end. They just won. On sheer numbers. Anyhow, we released Gujarat before when the Ottomans invaded us, and uh, the uh, vile enemy in Bahmanis actually took back a couple of the provinces from Gujarat, but then they got a diplomat and they never finished them off, so I finished them off by Gujarat again. Then we got this event. 200 military power morale of armies plus 20% in military technology cost. And I said, yeah, Bahman is now or never, bro. They have been a thorn in my side in India ever since the start of this campaign. After, they, uh, after the militarists abandoned our alliance. And uh, we just took military tech 19. After, with that 200 military power we got from the event. And we just engaged Bahmanis, who was allied to Bengal, head on. Why did I do it that way and not make Bahmani, not make Bengal co-belligerent? Because Bengal was actually cock-blocking us with an alliance to the Ottomans. So I just made Bengal non-co-belligerent. Yeah, it is a great event. It is a great event, is it not? I don't know what triggers it. It's probably one of those uh, events that can uh, happen if you... Uh, Fulfill certain conditions, but I'm not sure. It may be a biannual generic event, but I'm not sure about that. I'm honest, honestly not sure. So, we took that uh, Tech 19, which is uh, military tactics, and Bengal over here did not have said military tactics level, so we just wiped their troops with a lucky firewall. Kebam! We had more than enough cannons on the front row to fill the. Uh, I don't know what the combat with is in 1650, what it's like at Tech 19, but just, yeah, we just murdered them. We also uh, got a discipline advisor, uh, uh, or a morale advisor, stuff like that. We just spread out before uh, Bahman, before Bengal could make any troops. And then we just did this, Bengal will annul all treaties with the Ottomans and Bahmanis. Bam! Bye Bengal! And they never got an alliance back, I don't think. Now it's time to focus on, on Bahmanis, which in all honesty was real powerful. And uh, without that 20% morale, and without Tech 19, they would have murdered us. It was just one-on-one -on -one war, war again. My 100k versus their 100k, so to speak. They uh, managed to damage us quite well. Uh, but we just used artillery barrages on the main forts. They had like seven forts, so this this war was far from over, even if we did take their capital and this one. Do you have to save? It would be nice to see the time lapse. Oh yeah, Syrian. Um, um, I will continue the game when I uh, it's up to date again. Uh, up to 1690, I played on. So I'm just using these screenshots to get you folks up to date. I played on during uh, my holiday. On the laptop so uh, you want to see the time-lapse huh? okay I'll show it as soon as uh screenshots is done anyhow we just did a controlled war versus Bugman is this is very hard so they had like 100k troops running around even more probably and we just protected our sieges with uh, never splitting up too far we got their capital of Bidar and from there it was just Artillery barrage all the way, here, there, everywhere. They just uh, went north and sieged the forts of Delhi and Jampior and Garda and stuff like that. And then they came back to their capital, which is what I was waiting for. And we just murdered them on their capital with a stray stack. And uh, we didn't wipe them because they are way too strong, but Manis is really strong. But we routed them again.
In the end, we just uh, engaged them only if necessary, if they were threatening a seed stack. They were probably threatening a seed stack here on the fort in North Konkan. And we just engaged them before they got reinforcements from the north. So as you can see, they occupied all this up to Delhi and stuff. But I was uh, protecting my uh, state provinces with the fort. They all fell, but yeah, we had to siege down seven forts before Bahmanis was done. So we couldn't really focus on uh, the stacks up north. It's never a good idea, in my opinion, to uh, go for uh, stacks that are seizing your forts when you are sieging the enemy yourself. With artillery barrages, you can siege them up way faster than uh, they can siege down your forts. But hey, if you got prosperity going in the States and stuff like that, you can go up north and just engage them. That's uh, all dependent on you. More and more of their forts fell, and in the end, we actually made a ring over here so Bahmanis could not route north anymore. Instead, they went uh, south somewhere over here. We engaged them on the capital again, routed them south, and then they split up in two different battered stacks, which we uh, pulled off one uh, by mine. How is the dominant fate decided for the HRE, Syrian is asking. It's dependent on where the uh, centers of reformation spawn. If the centers of reformation spawn in really big nations inside the HRE or in uh, England, they tend to uh, convert most of the HRE and the HRE emperor can do jack shit about it. It's also dependent on rivalry patterns. If, uh, let's say, Austria is the uh, Catholic league leader and if uh, the Commonwealth joins it and France and stuff and if Austria doesn't have powerful rivals you can see France, Spain, Portugal, the Commonwealth, Hungary, France, everybody join the Catholic League and they will they will enforce Diet of Wien without the league war happening. If the uh, HRE Emperor does have powerful rivals like France or the Ottomans the Ottomans in France might join the Protestant League, and then a league war might happen and it might it, it becomes Protestant. That is usually how it works. I've never seen a Protestant war winning if Austria didn't have powerful rivals like France or the Ottomans. And then you just join the Protestant League, you ally them if you got a capital in Europe, and just leave the League again and let the war fire without them. But anyhow, we've used that before in... Uh, in our campaigns. In the end we just wiped all the troops up from Bahmanis and we uh, fully occupied them. They managed to get three of our forts sieged up. We uh, desieged all this and the remainder of their troops was in our vast Punjab which we engaged over there. They already had rebels over here so I uh, had to uh, be fast on my last siege because the plan was to actually get this and then make peace. This is like uh, 400 well-spent diplomatic power. And yeah, our tech is still horribly unbalanced. We got like tech, Dip Tech 9 and uh, Admin Tech 9. And we only got quantity, influence and administrative. That's what I usually do. These three in the first. If I start in Europe, I usually take influence first. It all depends. Oh no, I do allow uh, links as long as uh, as long as it's image good or nothing that uh, can actually uh, have viruses. So we took this aggressive expansion and then took all their forts in the hope that they would never rebuild loads of them. The peasants here were already at 14%, so we took all their forts and uh, the only aggressive expansion candidates now our Bengal, Bahmanish, Shan, Shagatai, and Yarkand. We barely managed to get Daivyat and Ayutthaya out, so uh, as long as you don't have four nations out of truce with uh, more than 50 aggressive expansion and negative opinion of you, a coalition can never fall. Steal all their forts that cheeky. Yeah, it's what you gotta do on very hard. To weaken a big nation like this, you got to be able to overrun them in a follow-up war. Ideally, 
If you don't care about aggressive expansion anymore late game, you would just break truce after this and uh, give all these forts to a vassal if, if possible. But make like a ring around them and then uh, and full storm them again. So yeah, we just did this peace deal. And uh, as said before, 90 aggressive expansion, but it's all controllable. I don't know, Syrian, if you saw the uh, previous streams in these in this campaign. It's all still on YouTube and on that Twitch on Man video. But yeah, this has been a campaign really aggressive from the start. And uh, I never use screenshots offline, I think. So we, uh, if you want to see how you do India really aggressively, yeah, watch this campaign from the start. You'll enjoy it. Very hard taking over India, it's no joke. Anyhow, there goes the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth actually declared on the Ottomans, and the Ottomans were already at war with me because I think. Was it Muscovy that started the war versus the Ottomans, or was it me? In all honesty, uh, I don't know, but the Ottomans are on decline now. That's usually what happens in the late 17th century. They expand and then they uh, get stomped by uh, everything. Do you notice that the Syrian is asking, do you notice that the AI armies can bypass provinces blocked by fort? Yes, they can, Syrian. And it's a real simple rule. If the AI has any routes towards a province, Let's say they got a. Uh, let's say they are standing on one side of a fort, and if they got any route to a province on the other side of the fort, instead of taking the long way round, the AI is allowed to go the shortcut. And that is why people don't understand why AI can uh, bypass zone of control of forts. Basically, if they would have a fort right here in, uh, I don't know, Bangladesh over here and an army was standing here and wanted to go here if they got the long way around they can actually go through your fort that's the rule for the AI I really hope they change that someday but yeah it's uh, it has been changed due to uh, abusable stuff you could do with zone of control but uh, there's a uh, there's a really good video about it on YouTube. Just go, just uh, type E4 zone of control mechanics in YouTube and there's a video on it explaining it all. That's a bit unfair. Yeah, I know. I know. What did we annex here? And uh, Yeah, Bengal. I think we are... Uh, Wait a moment. Yeah, we engaged Bengal once again after their troops is up. After their troops were uh, after the truce was up, they had no allies. We just killed them again, spread out over random. I'm not sure if I started the war with the Ottomans, but anyhow, we engaged Bengal. Uh, Yarkhan became free of Shagatai in a peace deal with uh, Muscovy. And we engaged them also with a claim from Punjab after flagging some of your Candace fighting interest. Here you can see it. And uh, we just gave Jarkand all of that. I had no other option than to uh, use the... Uh, than to... Uh, wait a moment, what was I going to say? Then to use the exploit. I had no other option because I was still in the war with the Ottomans. And I already had, I was close to getting called for peace on the war for second eye. I was willing to wait to just take it all myself, to get the aggressive expansion. And uh, then just grant it all to Punjab, but yeah, I didn't want to wait. That's the only, the Paradox should really fix that stupid bug. But oh well, it wasn't all that much aggressive expansion, it's mostly low development. And in the end, Punjab got spread all the way up here, and Jharkhand got uh, reduced to a uh, two-province manor somewhere in the north. And then it was time for some good old bankruptcy again. So I think I started this war just to make... To, uh, I started this war versus the Ottomans, calling Muscovy in just to declare bankruptcy again. 
The war usually can ongo for like two or three years. And if you then declare bankruptcy, your, vas your allies that are in the war cannot break alliance. Um, they cannot break alliance during the war. If they are in a war with you and if you declare bankruptcy, if they are in the war with you. An ally will usually never peace out of a war until it's, the war is like seven or eight years ongoing. So I declare my bankruptcy after murdering Yarkan. We barely managed to get Muscovy on our side. Barely. But they are a very powerful enemy. A very powerful ally rather because they, they have quality troops. And they took the right quality ideas to just uh, get it. So I think all in all in this campaign I had like 200,000 ducats on the bank. And never repaid them by declaring bankruptcies of stop. I fully expect Paradox to, to nerf bankruptcies again as a tributary of Ming because it's still easy to uh, abuse bankruptcies even if you are not a tributary of Ming. But yeah, as a tributary of Ming it's simply hilariously easy to go bankrupt because Ming will still protect you while bankrupt. They won't break alliance because they don't have an alliance, they're your overlord. Anyhow, the Commonwealth murdered the Ottomans. And they actually went for this. They took Constantinople. Kebab. Ottoman Balkan. And I think the Ottomans put their capital somewhere. I don't know. In, in Aydin. In Aydin, probably. But that wasn't the end of it. Everybody and their mother started declaring on, uh, on the Ottomans. So we got Wallachia. Feeling ballsy and declaring on the Ottomans, calling Bohemia and Saxony. God forbid Georgia declared on their own versus the Ottomans. I was like, what the fuck, AI? You'll get murdered. Homer's declared on, uh, everybody declared on the Ottomans. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think this was the, uh, peace deal that we did after our bankruptcy was gone again. We just uh, fed Muscovy a little bit of land they wanted and uh, we actually got rid of all the claims of the Ottomans so they couldn't declare a follow-up war. Then some uh, another lines, this, that. I just took, went for anything and uh, made sure that I had 10 power projection again. And then we just uh, called Muscovy again. This time not on promise of land, but on favors versus Shagatai again. Now the odds were really in our favor. And as I said before, Muscovy is really powerful. And, uh, wait a moment. Oh, yeah, oops. Shagatai was actually allied to Bergmanis. That was it. And uh, I just waited until Bahmanis was out of truce, made him full co-belligerent and focused on uh, Bahmanis first, while Muscovy was focusing on Shagatai. It was now a really easy war versus Bahmanis. Why? Because they didn't have any forts. Well, maybe one in the north, but their troops had nowhere to run, so we just engaged them and wiped them. And the leftover of their troops, we engaged them also, wiped them. Kabam. In the end, we just took all this from Bergmanis for 88% war score, 88% 88, 88 overextension. Uh, we didn't increase absolutism yet, because we, we weren't in the position to do so yet. But anyhow, we took all their uh, ports again, all the stuff from uh, Goa and uh, the centers of trade over here. And then we asked all this from Shagadai. As said before, I could have done reconquest and then ask for a lot more than this. But I just asked for them myself. Why? Because I didn't want to cheat on the aggressive expansion. If you, uh, if I would have transferred the occupation to uh, Punjab, this was reconquest war for, for all the calls from uh, Punjab, by the way. The, all the aggressive expansion you see here, the 85 aggressive expansion, would have gone to Ming. I really hope Paradox fixes that, but oh well. Now the Ottomans were also in range of uh, a possible coalition member, but yeah, they're on decline. 
they'll just murder them later on, if needed. And uh, we just grand Punjab all their cores back, and uh, then just integrated them after uh, enabling the policy from uh, administrative and influence for less diplo annexation cost. After that, it was time to murder Bengal, the, mur the remainder of Bengal. In the previous war, we took all their high development provinces, then it was just a matter of eating them alive. And um, after they got 100%, we finally started tacking up and we actually stacked minus 90, more than minus 95% uh, tech reduction cost. Minus 95% is the maximum. So we actually tacked up for the minimum you can tack up for, which is 30 power, 30 uh, power attack. And then we started massively tack up operation. I think we took like, I don't know, 16 to 20, 16 to 20 tech levels at 30 points each. If you go like, wait, what now? Yeah, that's what I always do. And I, I pay for the corruption for unbalanced tech all the way up to 1700 usually and then just stack up admin admin and dip tech while keeping military up to par so yeah i think it was yeah 16 and then it was still only 34 administrative cost i think we went up to 19 and uh after we tacked up everything for cheap we actually did this the court and country disaster we triggered it started ticking up and we did that one. I think it fired in like 1681 because it was uh, on and off, on and off, on and off. You actually need positive uh, revolt risk for it. We did a massive lower autonomy operation, some harsh treatment, and uh, we managed to get more than 50 absolutism start with court and country. Then it was time to actually go for the remainder of uh, Shan. Die Vien was involved in an uh in a war with ming ming was uh starting to get uh really powerful again and they forced uh tributary again on Dai Viet after they stupidly cancelled it the ai always cancels tributary with ming even when bordering them and then just ming, ming just attacks them it's uh if you play around ming you should take advantage of that and just declare on uh, the nations and their allies of the nation that is under attack by Ming. So Ming was running around here. Everybody was running around here. Even Ayutthaya was going for Dai Viet. And they just dishonored the alliance. And with the increased absolutism, we actually managed to uh, full annex Shan in the end for like 110% overextension. Meanwhile, we were going uh, f full nuts on lungs again, and we built manufactories everywhere on all the cotton provinces, all the silk provinces, all the uh, cloth provinces, and uh, all the basically we built every manufactory able. A manufacturer takes five years to complete, and if you declare bankruptcy, uh, it deletes all the buildings from the last five years. So, what I then did is uh, just uh, calculate the date when I could go bankrupt. We got a picture of this. I think my loan size was like 1,200 now, and we could take like 90 loans of 1,200 ducats, <laughs> and we just used them all on manufactories just to go bankrupt again. In, uh, in India, that's a really good move to do, by the way, because uh, many factories in uh, India are really good for trade and stuff. Uh, anyhow, I think uh, now it was Muscovy that actually started the war versus uh, the Ottomans again, and we just wiped straight troops from the Ottomans left, right, and center. So, uh, because Daivid dishonored the war, versus Shan, we actually engaged Dai, the remainder of Dai Vir also while repelling the Ottomans over here. We managed to wipe a couple of stacks from the Ottomans because their troop quality is really crappy. They did, don't have military ideas. They took exploration yeah, and humanists, so to speak. So their troops are really not all that powerful. And we actually managed to get like 40 favors with uh, the Ottomans in the end out of that war. 
And Punjab was integrating and it finished in like, I don't know, 1680, 1681. And uh, really nice name placement for Ceylon now. Just Bahmanis that is uh, our competitor in, uh, in India now. That's the only remainder nation in uh, in uh, India now. And we, uh, due to the increased absolutism, we actually managed to full annex Sean for like 110%. And we just sit, sat on it. We just caught it all. Why? Because we couldn't release any nation. Because no nation had cores inside. And I didn't want to sell the province. And I just ate them all. Then the Ottomans, yeah, Janissary decadence on top, and uh, the Ottomans going for them again, this, that. Even Austria, God forbid, is invading them. Hormuz is invading them. Everybody is invading them. And in the end, we got 40 favors, as said. And uh, the Ottomans, yeah, they are going, oh, what the fuck? Everybody's on the way. Everybody's attacking us. Even their tag uh, is... Uh, is going away. So yeah, in 1681, this finally started, the uh, conflict of court and country. And we just uh, made peace with everybody, wiping Shan of the map, wiping Diviat of the map. Just by returning some cores to Aitai and releasing Khmer. I didn't want to core this province, but we managed to take all this. It's not that much, but basically Diviat, I wanted them down and out because they were a possible coalition member. So instead of, uh, you gotta picture this, like 20 years before Aitai was almost beat down to pulp, and then they got all their cores back, and Ming actually took all this from Daiviet. Late 17th century, instead of forcing tributary, Ming will usually take land for themselves and start expanding up towards India, and even down into Aitai. So yeah, the Ottomans got murdered. They got murdered alive. You got a commonwealth is actually blobbing like there's no tomorrow. And they got even more land. <clears throat> I think it was a militarist in the commonwealth because he uh, just... Oh, commonwealth was in the war with Austria, huh? Okay, so it seems Austria is allied to the commonwealth. Anyhow, we just went for the remainder of Bahmanis again. They don't have forts, maybe one over here, again. Free reign of their country, so wipe their troops, kebam, and uh, it was really easy in the end. The remainder of their troops was just murdered somewhere in the northwest, and they got murdered. We actually took their best development states, the capital state of uh, Bidar, I think, or what's it called, and the uh, capital state of Malwa looking like this and it was all uh, stated up we, and uh, in the end we just kept on going it was now time for uh, Shagatai again we called in uh, Muscovy and Hormuz why because they are all allies and we just went bankrupt again during this war because uh, all our manufactories were done for more than five years and we just murdered them and uh, we waited we waited with making peace in the war eating coal for peace until the bankruptcy timer was gone and then we just asked all the timurid terrain and released the timurids as a vassal we released the timurids uh, as a vassal and that's it that's uh, how far we got in game so uh, I'll switch out now to in game and uh, let's continue this campaign. Here we are. 1699 now. And we're going for the Ottomans again. Well, it's just a fire and forget war. Why? Because we, we are going to focus on Bahmanis now. <coughs> we're going to focus on Bahmanis. I think their truce is up already. Yes, it is. So we will just murder them. I don't know if I got a military advisor. No, we don't. Do we got anything that is uh, really good? Yeah, land, man land maintenance modifiers. But I think the national manpower... Yeah, I'll keep this one. Land maintenance. <laughs> we actually made tons of troops. We, I'll give a quick overview uh, of my nation. 
Um, so we got a 364 King with a 522 Air, which we just got probably. Uh, we got already at, got 82 Absolutism. We actually finished the court and country disaster with a maximum of a, above 100 now. The Timurid is our vassal. As said, we took all that from Shagatai. Um, we got an alliance with Muscovy and with Ayataya and Hormuz we ditched as a, we ditched Hormuz as an ally. Why? Because we saw that Hormuz something we, we got a really big powerful spy network in the Ottomans and we saw they were gunning down Hormuz. Uh, and I said, yeah, I don't want to defend Hormuz and I was in uh, no position to declare then the war because I was still busy busy with the war in Shagatai. So we just broke our lines with our moods, because in all honesty I want to eat them. And uh, instead of Hormuz calling us in, we actually declared on the Ottomans calling the Ottomans in. Uh, anything else I gotta show? Uh, the trade, yeah, our main trade node is still here, we're just collecting everywhere, because if we would put our main trade node in Indus and transfer the trade over here, they would all steal it out. So we now make close to 100 ducats just from collecting in uh, Bengal, then here, then there. Why do I do it this way so that uh, no trade can get sucked out? Our tech is now really balanced. We got 21, uh, we got a tech of 20, 20, 23 now. So no corruption anymore, all played off, no unbalanced tech. Our ideas are still the same, quantity, influence, administrative. And in all honesty, I should start considering if I want to take something else. I'm probably going to take uh, Diplomacy and probably Religious also, because there are a couple of provinces that are really hard to convert inside India, meaning Varanasi. I think that's the, uh, the sixth uh, Religious Center, and we're going to need uh, some power to actually convert it. But we already got a missionary guy, we are converting. We managed to convert most of India already. Well, we did convert most of India already, but it's just this center of uh, religion. And then it's basically all this, we gotta convert still. And that's it! Troop-wise, uh, we are running around with more than 200 K troops now, we could build more, 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 but it doesn't really matter. The Timidur is love us to bits, they'll get integrated. And uh, do I need to do anything over here? <laughs> yeah, the merchant builds hate me too. I hate my guts. Could care less though. Okay, so time to start this war, I guess. Uh, do I need to do anything else? No, not really. So, Bundelkant, yeah, that's over here. Let's go for Bundelkant. Anything else we gotta do? It's the 1st of, of September. So, no, Bachmani, time to die. Oh, yeah, before I forget, Syrian, I don't know if you will watch this again later, but he asked for the timeline. I'll quickly give it. while I uh, grab a drink, all this talking. We managed to go for uh, the sudden OPMs first. Vijayanagar got murdered, we declared on them. We uh, made Madurai our vassal. We conquest, gave them all their cars back. Fed Bahmanis a load of Gujarat. Used the favors from uh, Bahmanis to murder Orissa and annex their coast. As you can see there. Madurai actually had a, a province up north near Gujarat and Mewar and we started focusing on that region. Yeah, there you can see it. Oh, you're back, Syrian. Well, I'm showing it off now. So, uh, Ceylon is a... Uh, we full annexed uh, Orissa and then we went for uh, Mewar, expanding our vassal over here and taking the capital state of Mewar. Then we went into Bengal and Jharkhand, 
region and we started nibbling away over here after Bengal actually foolishly declared on us calling Mingen and we actually uh, managed to grab all that from uh, from Bengal. I think we then went for uh, Mirar again, full annex them. Uh, in all honesty I can't remember anymore. Oh no, it, I think we also took Bahmanisan at some point and got this. Yeah, and uh, Goa. Yep. Here you can see me uh, taking down Mirar a notch. Full annexing Sindh. I think then uh, we actually went for full annexation of Mirar after uh, triggering uh, an inheritance of the war on a vassal of Mirar. Uh, we then went for uh, Bengal again, taking all this. We took a big bite out of Delhi, it's already 1570 now, big bite out of Delhi. Punjab was actually released out of Delhi by us, in the hopes that it would become our ally. In the end, uh, we just nibble, nibble, nibble at everybody that's left. Jampur became our vassal and we just uh, got all the cores back from Jampur. Punjab almost eat, ate Delhi alive. But then they became hostile and I ate Punjab alive. Punjab in the end got reduced to uh, one province minor after Shagatai and me were done with them. We integrated Jampior and then it was just uh, nibble away time at Bangal, Bahmanis and all these nations also. We started eating Pegu alive, we started eating Shan alive. We actually had to release a couple of nations like Orissa and uh, Gujarat because of invasions from the Ottomans but in the end we managed to get it all back all Gujarat back all Orissa back we actually managed to get all the coastline from Pagu full annex Pagu in the end vassalized Tongu and uh, in the end we started nibble 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 we released Punjab as a vassal and then did reconquest on Shagatai for all the cores we also went for Shan after increasing our absolutism full annexing Shan integrating Tangu and Daivir at some point got actually wiped up the, off the map. Aitaya got their course back. Ming took uh, all this and I went for the remainder and just wiped them off the map. Punjab got all their core back, cores back here as you can see now and then we integrated them. <coughs> Sean uh, as said will get wiped off the map also here we integrated uh, Punjab we full annexed Shan and full annexed Daiviet we took a big bite out of Bahmanis and now it's time for the follow-up war of Bahmanis and that's it that's what we're doing now that was Ceylon in short oh yeah we also got the Timbits as a best after a follow-up war the Shagatai and uh, this is now the diplomatic situation we are Still a tributary of Ming, allied to Ayutthaya and allied to Muscovy, which we called in in, in a war versus the Ottomans. While well, we will focus on uh, Bahmanis over here. So, Bahmanis arrives there the 5th of September. Mm -hmm. I arrive there the 7th. 17th. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, how can I do this best? Try and form Persia. No, uh, we are doing this achievement, Syrian. Uh, the Buddhist strikes back. And it doesn't allow... Uh, it doesn't allow tag switches. It says, is Ceylon, which means you gotta stay Ceylon. I could go for the achievement... Uh, what's it called again? The, no the sun never sets on the Indian... <laughs> Empire or something like that. We could form Barat and uh, we gotta own the Cape, London, Hong Kong and Ottawa then, but <laughs> in all honesty, I don't like uh, those blobbing achievements. The early game is where it's at for me, expanding on very hard and just murdering them. So we cannot catch them here. <laughs> yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Twentieth of September. 
Well, I still think I will go for them. Uh, he has movement lock though, so I can likely engage him here. I just, what I tend to do in wars like this is just figure out a way to engage all the troops in the first month, rout them and destroy them. So, 12th of September, 10th of September, good enough, so wait two days, engage you. Yeah, he's movement locked also. So, 12, 12, that's 40k infantry, and this is all cannons, <laughs> so that's okay. And this guy, um, I'll assign this one. This guy, I will just uh, go here. And you will, I'll wait until this guy is here, and then just murder him. Shoot. Waited too long. Can I catch him here? Nah, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. <sighs> oh yeah, that's a fort. That's why I cannot move. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, I could force March my way in, probably. 15th? Yeah. I force march my way in. I can catch him on the 14th. Great! Time to die! Bachmanis. Yeah, diplomat. I think I was doing this to be able to go for Hormuz. Hormuz uh, got all their, lost all their, most of their allies. I don't know when the truce is up. Uh, 69. Oh, it's actually quite close. They don't have a lot of aggressive expansion, but yeah, I'm in no position now to. Uh, I'll I'll just improve relations for a bit with them, just to uh, kill them after. Um, anything else we need to do? No. So let's uh, engage Bahmanis. They actually got must. They actually got knives, knives on their swords already. <laughs> That's funny. So before the bayonet is even a thing, they actually got knives on their. Okay, sure. It doesn't really matter if I stack wipe them or not. Riding them is enough. Okay, the other guys seem to be done already. This fight is also done. So now it's just a matter of uh, murdering them. Because um, I'm having troops all the way over here, they cannot route to anywhere that has uh, enemy troops near it. So they are routing um, here or here. We'll just go for there. Um. Yeah, I just follow them. I said it doesn't really matter. All I need is a uh, a troop on each province, and then it cannot do anything. See, now they are starting to build troops, but way too late. Unless it's Mercs. But yeah, September, October, it is Mercs. Ah. Fine. I'll just send a couple more, just in case. And the rest just go there. And that should be that should be Bachmanis down and out in the first month of the war. 
they are probably riding here also. Yeah, that's more than enough cannons there. See, because I don't see a battle icon here. Yep, they're riding here as predicted. So they will arrive in Golconda on the 17th. That the only stack I got there? Ah, uh, no. I should probably wait a little bit until th that stack is actually there. Yep. So, ah, there they are. 20th of October 24th oh, This stack will uh, murder them for sure Yeah, 21 Good enough So these guys are probably riding all the way down here also And I'll just await them You can do that, you can predict where people are out If you know the rule They cannot ride to any province that borders a province where you got a unit stationed on it doesn't matter how much units it's just the rule yeah see they are all they're also coming down here and that'll be a wipe for sure yeah bam these guys are not running here they're riding there Oh wait, no, they are going. They are. They were rotting there. Hi there, Soul Crusher. How are you doing? We are wrapping up this campaign. Okay, so that's Bachman is defeated. Well, they are, they were already defeated, but yeah, that's how you micromanage wars on very hard. It just eradicate all their possible riding options and just murder them. Oh, uh, I had a nice holiday uh, this week, so uh, I'm happy. <coughs> I'm half contemplating on uh, attacking uh, all moods now, but I should focus on the Ottomans. We can focus on our moves when uh, the Ottomans are down and out. So let's just pull back most of our troops. I think this is a level 6 fort. Yeah, we just need something like this then. 26, right? Yep. There we go. But this is the situation, Soul Crusher. I just uh, used screenshots uh, to show what I did in the last week during my holiday. We continued this campaign a fair bit because, yeah, cannot stop playing even while in a holiday. It's kind of sad, really. Are you going to full siege the Ottomans? Yeah. I might. The Ottomans are in decline. They are actually uh, got Janissary decadence. They got murdered by the Commonwealth. Look at that Commonwealth. They actually ate most of the the, the uh, northern and eastern nature. Then they delved into the Ottomans like there's no tomorrow. They they got some pockets over here and here and here and but yeah, the Ottomans are uh, are a joke. Neat. Well, they still got loads of troops, mind you. But their idea groups were far from ideal. They only took uh, offensive and quantity as usual, but they took humanism and exploration, which I usually makes them pretty weak. Because they start spreading their troops across their colonies and stuff. Yeah, Spain is... Uh, I think Spain actually enforced peace on... Uh, on France. I don't know what war this is. It's the French reconquest of the Elzes and Spain enforced peace 
on France. Yeah, that that's what happened. So France will likely lose that war. But yeah, come win is actually occupied by France, so we'll see about it. It's not in my interest though. Okay. Ah, uh, oops. Did I actually send the wrong stack out? Yeah, of course I did, you noble nut. I was like, why is there only 7k on my foot? Encyclopédie ou dictionnaire raisonné des sciences, des arts et des métiers par une société des gens de la... <laughs> I really like this aspect of it, out. <laughs> Replaces uh, stuff like this with uh, nice stuff. So where did it spawn? I wonder. Lauenburg. Okay, that's Lubeck. If you're a great power, this could be your excuse to intervene if... Yeah, but Soul Crusher, I don't know, man. <laughs> I've been... A, I'm a bit tired of Europa Universalis again. I want to do something else. All those... Uh, mind you, the, uh, the achievement is nice, but... It would involve defeating Ming. It would involve defeating the colonizers. It would involve... It's... I don't quite like the end game anymore for this game. I, I've done conquered the world all as much already. I tend to uh, enjoy the early game more now. So I don't know if I will form Barad and uh, go for the achievement or not. No, uh, not Crusader Kings 2, uh, unless it's you who's gonna play it. But I plan on replaying Fallout 2 after this campaign. Uh, Fallout 2! That's like the isometric boldest like game from the 1998. I actually uh, planning on doing that. I, I bought it on good old games in the sale and I, I really want to do it. And I actually downloaded the uh, mods for it that actually uh, add stuff to it and mods and graphics and uh, scaling uh, opportunities so you can play it in uh, 1080p while still being focused and zoomed in. So uh, we'll do that I think. Okay, so Ottomans. Time to make some good stacks here. It's a level 4 fort, and it's a seed specialist over here, 29. I just googled Fallout 2 uh, mods and I, I came to the Nexus where I downloaded tons of mods for uh, Fallout 3 and 4 and uh, other games. And there's like 5 mods there and one is a really big one that actually adds Tons of stuff in mods, and the other one is an unofficial patch. But uh, there is also a high res patch where you can scale stuff, and uh, I'm not sure if it's part of good old games or or the uh, or the mod. But I tried it out for a little, and uh, I liked what I saw. I will like to do it. Probably too much. I do the more here. This one's still. So yeah, Ceylon is winning. Time to die, Ottomans. I mean, winning versus Bahman is the Ottomans are far from out, but tja. Their troop quality versus uh, Muscovy is really bad. And Muscovy, this war just started. And Musk, the Ottomans are running around with a 100k stack all the way up to Musk for no doubt. I really hope uh, that, Mu yeah, they actually upgraded their forts. But that's good, that leaves little troops down here. Uh, and why the heck didn't I move my troops proper? 23 and I'll give him 20. 
Bam. Just go there. All the rest of you guard the fort. The rest of you uh, go here and then, I don't know, up there. And these guys, I don't know what you are, some stray troops. Can I reach another fort? Doesn't look like it. I'm in no hurry for the Ottoman War. I'm in no hurry for this achievement either. Oh, oops. Totally forgot these guys. Even more infantry. So, go here. Yeah, Soul Crusher, I kind of I kind of know the feeling, bro. In all honesty, I shouldn't have gone as a tributary of Ming. Then maybe the campaign would have been a little bit interesting, but without bragging, well, it's probably bragging, but I'm too good at this game. I just, it's hard for me to, fi to find the challenge. Oh, didn't see those guys. So I don't tend to get challenged a lot anymore in this game. Damn it, they're going for it. 27th of May. Shoot. Damn, I didn't expect them to have this stack running around over here. How did the Commonwealth beat the Ottomans? Uh, yeah, well, I can show the timeline for the Commonwealth, sure. The Ottomans expanded a lot. But as soon as the Commonwealth forms, they tend to uh, murder the Ottomans if the Ottomans don't take uh, good military ideas. You should label this year how to do bankruptcy. Yeah, I think I went bankrupt like 10 times in this campaign already. Just. Yeah, well, because being a tributary of Ming makes it hell easy to, uh, to do it. So, yeah, the Ottomans just expanded east, murdered the Timurids, murdered the Mamluks. Poland uh, integrated Moldavia. They killed Lubeck and got all they needed to form the Commonwealth. And I think in the. Uh, they then started murdering Lubeck, the Commonwealth, and uh, Bohemia and Saxony, they ate them all, and a little bit of Hungary, and Muscovy expanded really fast, yeah, I know. But then they got a bit stopped by Sweden and they allied Sweden, and Shagatai was mostly a tributary of Ming, so Muscovy didn't run up against them. But then in the 17th century, the Commonwealth started going ham on, uh, on the Ottomans. And, in the, and still in the HRE, they, they even got Brunswick. So see, the, the Commonwealth actually murdered the, the Ottomans and took Constantinople in the First War. Then in the follow-up war, they took most some more provinces over here and God forbid even Spain got, got terrain here. And they quickly lost it to uh, the Commonwealth, though. Don't ask, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. And the Commonwealth also expanded into Muscovy, I think, because Muscovy never formed Russia. So I think they actually took Novgorod or uh, Ryazan. Yeah, they took Ryazan. Did they take Novgorod? Where's Novgorod again? No, they didn't. But yeah, M Muscovy couldn't form Russia. Is this a Wired game? <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean, given 98. This is very hard mode. Uh, nations tend to blob like there's no tomorrow on very hard. Ally the Commonwealth. No, they rivaled, uh, they rivaled Muscovy. And I'm an ally of Muscovy, so uh, that's uh, not going to happen. What is going to happen is uh, the Ottomans murdering me over here. I don't know if I should stand my ground or not. I'm going to quickly check if I can run out. 19th of May, 27th. Yeah, I could run out. But... Oh, oops. It's 
Standing my ground is dangerous though. They got a 1-5 general, 20k cannons. Hmm. Still I got the numerical advantage and enough infantry to uh... Do I got enough infantry here to fill the front row? Maybe I should keep some more back... Yeah, but these guys, when will you arrive? 8th of June and they will only arrive... The, yeah, they can reinforce the battle. So, I, I should probably just send everybody down there. If they get movement locked, so be it. But yeah, they are. So the battle will happen. <laughs> okay. I'm curious now how good my troops will uh, do versus the Ottomans. But I, I will have minus two on rolls because of the being the attacker. Well, we'll see, I guess. How good will do. Eight to seven. Yeah, not that good. Their morale is better than mine. Oh, and their discipline is better than mine. Okay, sure. Think I will need those uh, reinforcements, but I should be able to uh, chase them away if the reinforcements arrive. They are murdering my front row, though. Oh shoot! There goes my uh, my trade fleet. Okay, they fled. Yeah. Just stay there now. The Ottomans actually got colonies in the Spice Isles, I should have thought about that. Yeah, I didn't take any military ideas, Soul Crusher. Instead, uh, only... Qu I, I probably... I could have taken quality and the first idea in it. In all honesty, I don't think that's a bad idea. Just taking quality and the first... Uh, but I rather take offensive and quantity. I could take both because this siege ability is where it's at. But yeah, if I want to take on Hormuz and if I want to take on... How many forts does... Uh, well, they don't have a lot of forts, Hormuz. Yeah, quantity and all honesty doesn't... Uh, quality doesn't sound all that bad. Oh, well, what the heck. Let's just do it. Should have taken it before the bloody fight. There we go. Some combat ability that'll help. And I should probably roll for something like... A, a better... Uh, a better advisor here. Something like morale or discipline. Yeah, you know, Soul Crusher, it's debatable, but it, it's always... It's dependent on uh, a couple of factors, which is the best uh, idea to take first. It's either influence usually or administrative, I'll give you that. Because, yeah, taking an, an, a military idea early on is usually not a good idea. Because you want to keep tech advantage rather than taking a military idea first. But yeah, if you're in a position to expand without worrying about a coalition too much, then yeah, admin is really good early on. So, we're making a spy network on our moose. Uh, the Timurids. I should have bloody. I should have bloody. Uh, put them on uh, scootage. Do I have any other target? Yeah, Shagatai. Ah, uh, Shagatai. That's only 1708 and I will probably take Imperialism before that. But... I'm half tempted to take Diplomatic first and take this. Just to get some more... Uh, well... Diplomacy at this point. 
would only be good for this one province war scorecards. That's the end of the campaign almost. In all honesty, I should go for religious and start fleshing it out. But yeah, I don't have the admin to. Uh... I see you nearly got the achievement. Yeah, and a base. I took a week of holiday and I spent the first half hour or the hour of this stream session using Scream Scotch to get you up to date. Yeah, beating Ming. Yeah, Soul Crusher. This is very hard mode, man. I'll show you what Ming has idea group wise. They got offensive, they got defensive and uh, economic and uh, administ- they are filthy rich. Do I even want to know? Yeah, they got half a million troops, manpower galore, and I don't even want to know how much gold they got. Well, not that much. Ming doesn't have a, a big treasury. But yeah, they should have a pretty big income. Yeah, they got 350 income. Beating Ming. Uh, uh, half a million troops. And full ma Yeah, I could... I could do it. But, as I said before, I've had my fill with micromanaging really big wars. I get my enjoyment for in the early game now. Expanding as a one province miner. Because, yeah, all in all, anybody can blob in late game. Granted, very hard, makes it harder, but I've had my fill with campaigns like that. I did it in Haida. I didn't even want to do it in the Haida after action report. Conquering the world, beating Ming, beating the Ottomans. But I did, because I was used to it. But then I said, yeah. I kind of vowed, almost, never to do that again. You're still going for Sun Never Sets on Indian Empire? I'm doubting it. I'm doubting it, Anna Pace. It would involve... Yeah, pfft. So I, no. I could. I might do it. But I'm really keen on replaying Fallout 2. I bought it in the... Uh, in the sales, in the summer sales on good old games, and I modded the game for uh, left, o left out content and such. I will probably... Okay, I'll make a promise. Uh, I'll just get the achievement, the Buddhist Strikes back, then do Fallout 2, because I really want to do something else. I've been uh, streaming this game again for like weeks on end. And then after finishing Fallout 2, I will contemplate if I want to Beat Ming, take their mandate, take the achievement, Sun never sets. But first we'll go for this achievement. And then we'll then we'll see what's what after uh, doing Fallout 2. Because in all yeah, I, I need something else. Hope you can understand that. I've been playing E4 non-stop almost with a couple of uh intermediate campaigns ever since January. Probably hundreds of hours. Uh, Can you link something? Oh yeah, if it's screenshots from Image Girl, all good. There's no Nightbot here that can block it. Make sure it's not a... Uh, why the heck am I on speed too slow? Okay, there's Cloud down. Move on up, folks. I don't know where the uh, troops... I don't see a link and a pace. I don't know if it gets blocked or something. Oh, there's the link. Oh, I'll take a look at it. Coptic One Fates. Oh, were you the guy that actually asked uh, help on the forums the other day? Who was it? I don't. Yeah, Coptic One Fate, why not?
Oh no, it's not the, the classic Ottoman one, it's the Ethiopian one, huh? Yeah, nice. Nice going, just, uh... I, I suppose you know what to do, right? Colonize the Cape, lock it off, go for Zanzibar, collect there. Eat Brunei, eat Malacca, eat India, and then go for Europe. That's what I do it. Yeah, I've, I've seen it in a basement ball. It was my, it was my end. What the hell? Do you think I've done enough so far? Well, on a pace, all everything you do up to 16, 39, is just expanding your power base. Well, I'll take a better look then if you really want my opinion on it. Uh, yeah, sure, looks like you got Zanzibar under your belt. But uh, you don't give me any uh, you don't give me any diplomatic screenshots, so it's hard to judge what you what you own and what your allies are and stuff like that. But you should go for uh, full control of the Cape, and then uh, kill Brunei, kill Malacca, kill Majapahit, and then go for uh, Hindu India. You should also try to get a capital in Europe by uh, snaking your way up to the west side of the Caspian Sea and take a capital in something like, I don't know, Dagestan. You should take a look at my Pate campaign and go revolutionary as an African nation. <laughs> you can do it. Heck, uh, what, what you also could do, what you also could do is form uh, the Mughals in the end. <sighs> Yemen if I I'm gonna destroy Hormuz. Oh, there's a uh, musket here already. Ah, the Ottomans are getting murdered. <laughs> Heck, I don't even need to kill the fort here. The Muscovites are doing it for me. Ah, cannot reach that. I'll just use my uh, cannons to help out on the siege. Form the Kingdom of God as the Papal States. Yeah, Kingdom of God as the Papal States has nothing to do with Kingdom of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Soul Crusher. It's just a national decision that gives you uh, some rewards and that's it. It doesn't switch your tag to Jerusalem or Kingdom of God or some shenanigans like that. Then you misread it wrong. Okay. Who is your ally? in the cape. Ditch that ally, Anapace, and uh, take the cape for yourself. You should do that on the double. If it's Spain, well, you could try getting a personal union on Spain and integrating them, but you, you really should uh, murder Spain. But yeah, if they're the only protection you got versus the Ottomans, then maybe don't go for the cape. I see you are doing a diplomatic royal marriage to the uh, Commonwealth. Try to score an alliance by setting yourself as threatened to the Ottomans. Threatened plus 22 alliances only fires if you're behind in military tech towards the Ottomans. Remind that. Then you get plus 20 for an alliance and you might get it. I see you also snaked your way up into India already. That's really good. All in all, yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. But what I what I would do is uh, engage the Ottomans at some point if you manage to ally the Commonwealth and uh, take a capital in Dagestan and uh, try and form the Mughals in the end because they got religious unity, even more coring cost, 
reduction, manpower bonuses, and you can if you if you form the Moogles while having a capital in Europe, you can actually go revolutionary in 1710 for even more crazy bonuses. That's what I would do. Basically, what I've done in the Pate campaign. It also gets rid of the Curie if you form the Kingdom of God. Oh, really? I didn't know that. If you say so, I guess. I've never played the Papal States in my life. Maybe one time just for fun. And I was bored at like, after like, uh... You're the strongest nation in... Yeah, and the base, you're doing great. So, but you wanted my advice. I've given it. I've given it. Go for revolutionary. Take plutocratic. Become revolutionary Mughals by make and uh okay, granted. You gotta ditch all your state cores for it. I think it's worth it in the end. But it's up to you if you wanna follow my advice or not. But uh In the end you should just go for all the holy sites and uh go for uh Go for all the possible extra missionaries you can get. I don't know what Coptic gets extra missionaries from. The Coptic religion. For Catholic it's Mecca and Jerusalem and uh, stuff like that. But I don't know what spot it is for Coptic. But just grab all those triggered modifiers that you can see over here. Uh, not the history, but the triggered modifiers over here. Like, I got my plus two missionaries just by getting that. Roman Empire. Roman Empire is is a crap tag, really. If you wanna if you wanna tag switch, go for Italy into Roman Empire or the Mughals into Roman Empire. But form the Mughals first and take their ideas. They're way better. They did, they're one of the best possible idea sets for one fate and world conquest in the game. You'd be a half an idiot not to try for it. Okay, Anapes, you don't have Rome, huh? No. Try grabbing it. When able, I suppose. If you really want uh, detailed advice, Anapes, just make a private conversation with me on the forum. I don't know if you're on the Paradox Conference. If you're on the Paradox. Uh, forum or not but just start a com register your game there start a conversation with me add diplomatic screenshots ID choices stuff like that and then I uh, point being I don't have the time to uh, spend like hours on end advising you we hope you can understand that but uh, point being if you do a private conversation with me there I can actually uh, advise you way better and even up to the end of the campaign wait a moment no ah for the love of god i sent the wrong guys there i got no clue where uh those guys are but it's time to sh advance my troops here Uh, you go somewhere here. You go somewhere here. And you. Doesn't really matter. Oh, there's still troops over here, huh? Muscovy is on the case already, though. So, yeah. The Ottomans made the foolish mistake of running around with a 100k stack all the way up uh, to Muscovy, so to speak. Speaking of which, Muscovy is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, 36 war enthusiasm, that isn't very good.
my master. I don't know. Ha! <laughs> I dare Nephilim. Alright, here again with your filthy jokes. Well, the Nine Hells is the capital of the Ottomans these days. Probably Ank Adana. Or Ankara. If they still got it. I should work my way to that. Oh, it's Sina! Oh, yeah, we should focus on. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Hard to land, probably. <laughs> Level 2 forts? Really? Ottomans. Why? What fort exactly is blocking my way over here? This one. They got level 2 forts. Pathetic Ottomans. Really pathetic. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna advance. I don't care where, but... Anywhere. You go there. I should pay more attention to uh attrition and stuff, but this campaign has reached the point where I just don't give a fuck anymore. Oh yeah, Bahman is before I forget. We should probably uh Well That's by not working on moves. Let me call you. One hundred percent spy network. In the Ottomans versus level 2 forts. Place your bets. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, I thought it was my good inquisitor. Oh, well. Uh, Bahmanis and my missionaries. How's my... Nah. Mind you, I could convert it all without religious ideas. I could do it, but then I would need this province in the hands of the clergy and 60% monastic Loyalty. Well, it's not impossible. It's not impossible, so let's give it to the uh, monastic orders already. We accept the culture already for more missionary strength. Heck, what can I even convert still? This? Hi there, uh, Mr. Subscriber. Yeah, you missed the screenshot party and uh, and the slaughter of the Ottomans in the mountains. But yeah, we're defeating and declining Ottomans. Am I still coring something? Of course not. So let's just full annex. It's time to uh, take the last land we need for this achievement, and then it's just a matter of uh, converting it all. Do we have anything at... Tja. I should probably start harsh, harsh treating all these guys just to... Uh... Oh, this is 98% war score. Oh, really? Oh, well, this is Bahmani's down and out, ladies and gentlemen. 70.7... And this is Ceylon, you're just in time, Birdman, for Ceylon finishing the conquest of India. We've done it. It's for 1700. All the E4 nerds are watching. We're 
What? Is Flurry watching this? Uh, I, I doubt it. No, it's indeed not exciting, but Birdman, uh, I've promised to, uh, who was it? Anapace or Soul Crusher? I will uh, start, I will do this achievement and uh, I will do Fallout 2 after that. I bought the game in uh, in a sale on good old games, modded it for uh, better graphics and scaling and stuff like that. And uh, after I finished Fallout 2, I will consider consider uh, doing uh, The Sun Never Sets on the Indian Empire, or whatever the achievement is called, to go for Ceylon and uh, London and whatnot. Well, I need something else now. <laughs> All the E4 nerds are watching Flory. Oh well, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Anybody who's willing to watch this can always watch it later on Video on Demand or on YouTube. Oh, so Flory, where are you streaming now, huh? Good for him. Well, that's uh, Bachmani's down and out. But yeah, as you say, this is the uh, oops. This is the end of uh, the end of this campaign almost. So I cannot blame people for not joining this. Muscovy, could you be a butt and help me out versus that fight over there? Yeah. Is he doing it? Yeah, he's doing it. Can I arrive there in time? I doubt it. I, I doubt it. Three mountains, very hard, no exploits. Oh! Flurry, very trying. Draw. Flurry, very trying, and no exploits run. Oh, well, okay. It's probably because, uh. Beasons. Oh well. I'll just go for it. Do I have a leader that nope. Ah shoot. Oh well, Muscovy has my back on this fight. No, <laughs> they don't. For the love of God, Muscovy. Yeah, thanks a lot for wiping my troops. Stupid motherfucker. I'm sceptical to anything that cannot be proven done live. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Marco, if he used anything fishy for it. But, as I've said before, a world conquest with Ryukyu is not the hardest nation to do it with on the map. Especially if you become a tributary of Ming, blah blah. There's harder nations to do it. To do it with, I mean. <laughs> yeah. What do we even got left? France? Really? Yeah, <laughs> France. Ah, well. Who will be pissed off if I attack your Mohamuz? Probably uh, Mogadishu and Kilwa. So let's. See. Was it harder with Hyder or with Jungledes? Jungledes was way harder. Because it was in the patch where uh, the Condottieri spam was still a thing, where nations would hire Condottieri from entire India, so to speak. Hyder was uh, more. Fu probably. Uh, Better to read in the after action report and stuff, but 
Trust me, Jangladesh was way harder. The one tag with Jangladesh was way harder than the World Conquest as a Native American. Because, yeah, it was no joke defeating uh, all those Conatieri early on. So, yeah, Birdman, uh, something really weird is happening. Atwix is actually fighting a war on speed 5 and losing. Would these guys even arrive in time? Uh, can they even win? <laughs> what did I get myself into? Azerbaijan is kicking my butt here. Uh oh. Well, they're throwing everything in. If they're throwing everything in, I will also. Ah, shoot. How many bloody... Well, maybe I should go for it. They are having 82k here. Ah, why the hell not? That stack will get defeated. Or I'll try to die trying. Yay! God, my cans. No, oh, well. It's only five percent. Ah. Seventy-five of the force limit is not gonna happen either. I should have m should have more than enough universities to get the new enlightenment going. Okay, that's but that's. <laughs> Some stragglers left. Oh. I should probably use some 1k stacks to get this done. Otherwise, Muscovy will just focus on it. Focus on those instead of going to the front line. Okay, I want to see that peace deal. France is dying. <laughs> Spain and Austria are almost touching one another and then seeing. <laughs> Austria border goal galore, they never got the Burgundian inheritance. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you later, Burn Man. I'll uh, probably do Fallout 2. I'll likely finish this achievement uh, pretty soonish. Damn, there's no Ford over here. I don't know where that stack from the Ottomans is, but they will likely engage me once I reach the heartland of the Ottomans. But yeah, if he protects his heartland with level 2 forts... Ah! A scholar technology cost emperor, huh? I like.
Rebels. Red Lock Ming will kill those Rebels. If not, I'll just backtrack. Maybe I should send back some cannons. Or these guys. I was thinking, yeah, I got way too few troops here for some reason. Um, I'll go up to Koch and build some infantry here. Still a bit too much to my liking, but I don't want unbalanced tech anymore, so I'll just take it. Rebel hunting stack there, but we're dealing with it. Ah, wait a moment. Changing my mind. What I need is some mercs here, not my normal, in not normal infantry. Yeah, rebel hunting. So thanks to uh, the 10 people that are still watching this. Hope you're enjoying this. I really won't mind if you want to go and see Flurry Rory. But yeah. Won't hear me complain. I'm not doing it for the viewers or for the uh, proving myself. I just hope you enjoy the show and learn a thing or two. But yeah, this is the end of this campaign. Just defeating the Ottomans after uniting India. As Ceylon on very hard. All in all, we didn't do that bad. Hmm. So thanks for staying with me. What I do gotta watch is uh, this here, the War Enthusiasm of Muscovy. They're still running around with a 100k stack over here. I think in all honesty uh, my rival should be uh, tanked in manpower by now. Yeah, pretty much. This is bloody capital sin up, right? Yeah, we can reach that now. Isn't a bad idea to do it. Uh, oh, oh god. Hi there, Ottomans, with everything you got. Well, something tells me that his capital is unprotected, but I don't know if this is such a good idea. Yeah, I really hope 
they can hold out until reinforcements arrive. Ah, uh, 27th. Oh, they won't be. Damn. Shoot, that's like one day. the heck? How mink on that Yeri, huh? Well, if you're running in there, Muscovy, I'll follow you. Uh, there we go again. Just getting murdered. Oh well. Something tells me he's gonna hit me here, and he's gonna hit me here really hard. I'm not even sure if I can grab his capital in time. I could probably use templates for this, but yeah. Me and templates. Rebel hunting stack. I'm surprised he's not trying to repel me on the capital. Don't hear me complain. But still. Twenty five Yeah, by the time you get here, Ming, the war will be over. But thanks anyway. Ah, there he is. Yeah, he's coming for me. So probably abandon this until I'm uh mm. well. Yeah, I should probably do this a little bit slower. Start uh, focusing my troops here. Oh, he's back. Is he really backtracking? Did I see that right? Oh, traps on. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take that plastic discipline guy just to make sure. Ah, everybody go there. I'll even. Let you force march.
anybody that isn't a merc. Please consolidate. Damn, that fort already fell. Didn't upgrade my rebels, I don't. I think. Ah, my rebels. My fort's up in the Himalaya. Should take a look at that. Didn't I have rebels? Yeah, I got some over here. Deal with those first. Through. You're listening more than anything else. Oh yeah, like a lot of people do that. While at work, stuff like that. Just for my soothing voice. I would assume. for the lot. I knew it. Well, at least they'll be the attacker here. But, uh, I knew I had to pull back. I didn't. And I should have assaulted this bloody... Ah, uh, not assault. Mass battery, whatever. still lose it. Even with the combat ability and whatnot. Unless... 8th of July, yeah, the battle will likely be... Well... Well... Give it a shot. They only got like 33... We got double the amount of troops, so... Might look. Should have done all this way sooner, but yeah, me fighting wars on speed four, never a good idea. I tend to uh, become so sloppy in the late game. Can understand finally when when DDR Jake says, "Yeah, I'm so sloppy." No, I don't think they will arrive there in time. Oh yeah, we will. I'll be damned. We won the war. I mean, won the fight. I'm impressed with myself that it worked. So, uh, go back there. Consolidate. Knock everybody on the fort, because why not? And then these guys guarding it. That can be turned off. Ah, uh, just sieging up the heartland from the Ottomans, just because reasons. <laughs> I really don't get why they didn't upgrade their forts. Once I get this entire area... Oh. Uh, that's gonna be a still... I'm half tempted. Mm. 
to check what I can ask for already. Yeah, what do I even want from the Ottomans? <laughs> I cannot take anything else but this. So maybe I should uh, start wondering. Because Muscovy occupied that all, all that in, in their name. Yeah, I just want to take their capital. There we go. Come on. What? Huh. Yeah, a bit much. A little bit much. Oh, they're finally trying a resiege. I'm impressed, Ottomans. Finally doing something. So, yeah. I do have the coring race. An easy war. Oh well yeah, I could have done I could have done it way better, I suppose. Occupied by Ceylon, occupied by the Timurids, occupied by Muscovy. I don't give a damn what you Hmm. I really want to give them one favor. Are you kidding me? Heck, I'm tempted to take land from here and spread it next to my, uh, Something like this. Cock block Muscovy. Yeah, Cairo, you make a good point. I could release... Uh, I should consider... Yeah, wait a moment. I should consider making a vassal here. And I think... Si oh, Syria is actually the biggest nation inside. Ah, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a small water break, but... The Mamluks lose all their cores? And I'll be. Could release Persia if I wanted to. I'll take a look at that. Be right back. Yeah, not watch what referring to watching me over Flurry War, yeah. I don't like it. So the Mamluks are, are not all that full of cores. Well that said Syria looks to be really developed. Sixty-three? How the fuck is that sixty-three war score? Yeah, now, now I'm curious. 76 states, 36, 51. Yeah, 76, yeah. 64, yeah, I, I think I'm starting, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. 
that is pretty isolated. Persia would be somewhere here. Yes, clearly developed Syria. So why the fuck can I not release... Oh yeah, wait a moment, I gotta occupy! I gotta... I could actually do it like this, right? I think the... I think uh, the Mamluks should be the highest releasable vassal. Well, that said... 52, 68... Central Egypt... I'm tempted to release the uh, the Mamluks as a vassal. Yeah, Mamluks. Where do you have course though? Well, I'm not gonna release uh, the nations. I just wanted to release the nations to get an eye on what nations are the biggest. But because I didn't occupy any fort yet inside Egypt, it doesn't show up here. Unless I'm really blind, but I'm not. So, uh, as Chad suggested, as Enope suggested, if I take Cairo, but I want to release tags as a vassal that got cores in other nations. So, Manlux, do you have something in Ethiopia? Yes, you do! So I would have reconquest on Ethiopia. Yeah, and Ethiopia has no allies. What about Yemen and Mecca and stuff? Oh, hi there, Mamluks! <laughs> yeah, Chris, I didn't see it. The Mamluks still exist in Mecca? What the fuck? I'll be damned. So it's not because I didn't occupy a fort, they still exist. No, I'll be damned. Releasing Persia would give would actually give me reconquest on Hormuz. Do I, can I take any core from Persia? Yeah, I could release Persia. And not give the uh Occupied by Muscovy, occupied by Ceylon, occupied by Muscovy, you stupid motherfucker. I could cut the uh, the Ottomans in half by doing this. Not that it matters anymore. This used to be a trick where you would cut them in half to make all this overseas, but yeah, that doesn't work anymore. Well, I don't need this. Well, it's in the Kashmir trade node. Maybe I should grab the land that's in the uh, Kashmir trade node. Or just for uh, some cleaner borders. Yeah, something like this. Well, I prefer having a vassal with some cores of it. So... How far does the... Does this culture group stretch? Yeah, this is all in the... Yeah, I could actually... This is all inside the culture group, so... This peace deal, although ugly, isn't that bad. And I can just not call the Ottomans in next time. And uh, make sure I actually uh, take all this land for myself. Muscovy will not like it. But reconquest on Hormuz is better than uh yeah. I could go imperialism on Hormuz in like a year. So reconquest on them doesn't really matter. I'm still tempted to, to beeline to serve to uh What's the word? Beeline to Syria instead of uh, going up here. I just need one Persian 
province. This one will do. That one will do. I you can even release it from Azerbaijan, I think. When you start wondering what land to take from the Ottomans mid-war. Yeah, I'm just planning ahead if I if I gotta occupy all these forts or not. If I get recon yeah, I could I could actually snake my way to a core of uh what is the most southeastern core of Syria? This one, right? Yeah. So what about Iraq? That's twenty-nine, but Syria is fifty-eight. I really want to release Aslan's and Do I even have the slots for it? Yeah, I can do one and integrate the Timurids. And Armuza got still a, a royal marriage with them? Um, how about not? Ah, but I will still take the, the minus one stability hit if I break it. But if I don't break it... My king is not about to die. I will take the minus one stability anyhow. So... Forgive me for taking this long, but Persia and Syria look like two really good vassals. And this is the peace deal I would want then. Police Persia, give the and Syria, Persia and Syria both, yeah, and take all this for myself. Mm. Love of God. Well, I could feed all this in a follow-up war. Ah, sorry. We'll just go for that one hundred percent peace deal and one and worry later on. So, uh, but I'm still contemplating, should I break that? Nah, Hormuz can wait. They're, they just got in a war with Portugal. Portuguese killed in nationalist war. Ah, okay, that just started, that's great. That's great. So, Hormuz I can wait with. They will likely ship off all the troops, all their stuff. Um, how far am I from that peace deal, in fact? Pretty far, pretty damn far. Oh well, as long as Muscovy is willing to fight this war, I'll fight it also. This is basically why the Ottomans always decline late game. If they take quantity and offensive, and I've proven this in many of my campaigns, if they take quantity and offensive, they got such a high force limit, and the AI is rigged now to actually fill up to like 80% of their force limit. It used to be 100%, but then nations would go bankrupt. Paradox then nerfed it to 80%, but they forgot if the Ottomans take offensive and quantity, they also got in their national ideas land force limit modifier. So, I'll show you what I mean. The Ottomans have a force limit of 369 and they are rigged to fill it with mercenaries, with stuff like that. Which leads to low income, which then leads to them not upgrading their forts and them going into debt all the time. And that is why the Ottomans usually decline late game on very hard. We call it horseshit, but it's my observation. And I've seen this happen quite a lot of times. If the Ottomans go quantity and uh, offensive, then they uh, don't upgrade their buildings. I don't know. See? They got no buildings anywhere. Nowhere. Even though it's high development, they got nothing whatsoever almost. No no manufactories in their club provinces. Nothing. So yeah, this proves my point. This is why they are declining. 
They don't build. They don't have the money for buildings because they are rigged to. Uh, they are rigged to uh, focus on filling their force limit and spending all their money on said force limit. Early on, when force limit, when they don't have quantity and offensive yet, then they are powerful. But later on, when they fleshed out quantity and offensive. Which I'm pretty sure that the Ottomans are rigged to take. They always take it. Sooner or later. Yeah, that is causing the decline of the Ottomans right now. I mean... If they take trade and, eco and, and economic, they tend to avoid this. Then they do have the dash to keep force limit and to upgrade their buildings. But now, I don't think they, got, they don't have trade or... Uh, nope, they, don't, they took humanism. Influence, administrative exploration, pretty crappy idea groups. That's why they are declining now. Now it's a problem for Muscovy too. I've seen Muscovy facing the same problem, yeah. But Muscovy isn't rigged anymore to take quantity. In fact, they took quality in this run. They took quality and offensive and economic and trade, so yeah. I might make the right decision allying Muscovy and not Commonwealth. Even though Commonwealth blobbed in, inside European uh, Ottoman terrain like this, no tomorrow. They weren't the best ally here. <laughs> losing money, got to me. Old for a man. Oh, this is a level four fort, God forbid. I was wondering why do I start with such low? Fifteen. Need a couple more than. Which I got right here. Isn't that convenient? So why am I doing it this way this war? If I prevent, I can see where they are now. If I would push them here, I wouldn't be able to see where they are now. They can get that terrain back. Oh yeah, well, Chris, you might see a, a full drawn-out war later on. If I decide to go for the achievements, uh, the sun never sets on the Indian Empire. We will have to take on the colonizers and Ming, Ming with their half an army, half a million army. Then you will get what you want. But yeah, as said before, I'm a bit tired of wars like that. I've been doing it in the uh, After Action report that's linked on this Twitch page for the last time. I swore I wouldn't do it anymore, but yeah, the, the urge is pretty strong. Once you're powerful, to just do it again. But I will likely uh, get the achievement for the Buddhist Strikes back and then do Fallout 2 finish it and then decide if I want to continue this campaign or not because I need something else hope you can understand so can we actually don't need them again yeah 65 now I should have positive here likely needs stick of the month Now we got 0.9. But we don't even need to take religious. If you accept the culture, uh, give it to the monastic orders and make sure they got more than 60% loyalty. You don't even need religious to do this achievement.
just contemplating on increasing the level of my forts, but it's tech 24. I thought it was 23, but it's 24 for level 8 forts. And I'll do it yet. Ankara. Yeah, I'll have it too. It's ridiculous. So yeah, Chris, if we, uh, if, if I get the motivation to do, uh, what's the achievement again? This one. The sun ever sets on the Indian Empire or whatever it's called. I could form Barat. I cannot, after finishing this achievement, and then we gotta go for Hong Kong and, uh, Canton and, uh, in Ming, we gotta go for London, Great Britain, we gotta go for the Cape, which I honestly got no clue who owns the Cape, and for Ottawa. <laughs> and, uh, so defeat all the colonizers. And yeah, I might do it, I don't know. I think chat would, uh, prefer me seeing, uh, starting another campaign. to defeat those guys. As long as I enjoy it, yeah, well, that's the issue. I know, I've proven, I, I know I can fight me, I know I can, but yeah, that's half a million troops. Half a million. I would need to go full strength for that. And I'm not even sure if I can, uh, if I can do it. My first limit now is 393. I would have to flesh out offensive for it, and even then, it would still be hard. So yeah. Yeah, I was a bit bored, at, that's it Chris, I, I was a bit bored of microing said wards. I've proven already in my after action reports that I can manage war like that, wars like that, but yeah. It just gets a bit boring in the end of doing all the same stuff over and over and over again. I conquered the world like 10 times already and I don't know, 9 times out of 10 it was a one tag. So yeah, I know I can do it. The issue with it is that it's, uh, it's getting a bit repetitive. The early game though on very hard, that the last six months, I've really enjoyed doing this. Mm. I've really enjoyed it. With those late game massive wars, okay, granted, it would show off how I micro war, but I, I, I've shown it off already in other things, so we'll see. I just want to do some Fallout. The good old, it's been 20 years ever since I did that game. I just want to replay it and then decide if I want to continue this campaign. I might even do a straw poll on it, if people want me to continue it or not. And then just decide later on whether or not to do it. The uh, follow-up achievement for Buddhist Stripes back on me. I'm having second doubts here for those guys. Uh, there. Don't drink my manpower anymore. I need it for the cannons. I will use mercs instead for the infantry, as I should have done a long time ago. Level 4 fort? What do you know? <laughs> ah, be a while before they get that fort. Hmm. 
maybe I should use uh, The funny side is, the more Muscovy actually uh, loses in occupations, the more from Persia I could actually take. And just feed, feed all this to Persia, instead of taking Syria. Uh, speaking of Muscovy, yeah, they still... Uh, the more occupations we do, the more... Uh, The more war enthusiasm Muscovy will get, but still we need to watch it carefully. Oh, the Ottomans are getting rebels already. I don't care. So, we finished the course, right? Oh, we didn't. <laughs> I was already wondering that. Don't mind. Ah, that'll, that'll be, take ages. I think my uh, missionary strength will actually drop. I... Ah, well get it done. It's the last hard province I gotta convert here. So is there even anything I can do still? Sunni land. Anything inside India that is core I still gotta do. I don't think so. It's all outside of India now. Well. This is done, that is done. Probably all this shit. Shaw, I'll start him. He's back. <laughs> oh, the, I was waiting, I was wondering where did, is the Commonwealth in all this? Now the Commonwealth finally put their thumb out of their arse and real. Realize it's time to go for the Ottomans. How the heck does the Commonwealth have a... I was looking, the, is it a, a millet? <laughs> the Commonwealth took exploration? Really? Are you seriously suggesting the Commonwealth has... I think they, they took it awfully late. I don't see the Commonwealth take... Would they have any... Nah, they don't have any, uh... They don't have any, uh... <laughs> the Commonwealth taking exploits. I've seen it all now. What's next? Ah, just what I need. More uh, loyalty for the division. For the uh, monastery. up as much and then make our peace. I don't know where they are, don't know where they're going, but we siege up as much of Egypt as possible.
as important as you. Not important, but we do. Those are the only Sunni guys who are close to Hormuz, which is our next target. How much ticking war score? Oh, oops. How much? Wait, what? Oh! Oh! There's more particularists than I thought. Yeah. Well, this war hasn't been ongoing that long. Still, uh, get ticking war score. The end before that. Oh, there's Muscovy on the case again. Like me going for the stack. Oh well. Is that on core in terrain? Yeah, of course, right before. Right before it finishes coring. Watch me forget about the fort. I don't know what the Ottomans are doing, but it's a whole heap of not much. Oh well, a bit busy over here, but they got chased away by the Muscovites. Now I can use the uh, Commonwealth as an attack dog. They will actually wipe, so I'm going for the forts now. Let them uh, siege up the rest. In all honesty, I should go for all the forts. Mm, like this one also. I'm for travel time. Oh, yes! Thanks a lot, game. That's just what I needed. Yeah. God, that's so powerful. Used envoy time. Yeah, we'll conquer the world with our envoys. They'll super fly their way all over the world and conquer it all. Yeah, we're safe now, folks. The envoys got our back. They'll protect us. Yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> Told you I would forget. Speaking of states, can I do anything else? Nah, it's too dangerous. Oh, you're so dead, Ottomans. Then to... Uh, they were threatening us. 
The one of all versus us. Uh oh. I think they engaged our. What? Out there? Didn't I? Weren't you here? Hey, I want those provinces. Not you, Commonwealth. You can kill them. You, you go, man. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they're boxed in here, but I can hope the Commonwealth uh, has my back here. They <laughs> likely don't. Ah, oh, come on. Me fighting troops for rebels. For the love of God. Um, 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 nope. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I'll get my 100% peace no matter what. God, fine. Ha! <laughs> Particularists in Cairo. I am not surprised. First they kill me, then they kill the Ottomans. Ah, the Commonwealth. Speaking of which, the Commonwealth, how much troops are you running around that I wonder? It's close to half a million. The Commonwealth is the second most powerful nation on the map, deep wise. Hmm. In all honesty, I shouldn't be. Uh, this was leaving a few behind and occupying all this before the Commonwealth realizes they gotta occupy something. <laughs> What's the Commonwealth win it? Particularists fight like shit. Need the land, but war score is war score. I really hope it's nah. They're still not. Ah, they are actually gaining war enthusiasm. Probably don't even need it anymore, but still. Yeah, sub this. <sighs> Can likely get what I want right now. Yeah, I see. I'm contemplating, do I take more of Persia, or do I go for Syria? I think I will go for Syria, just to feed them. To have two subjects to feed Kors back to. Ah, uh, something like this looks just about okay. And then really want me to do it. You not willing to give in yet? 
What now? No. You're still not beaten up. Please beat us up some more. Yeah, I don't like the look of these guys. I don't like the look of you. Is he going for me? No, he's not. If you can get a stronger navy than the Ottomans, you can beat them early on. <laughs> so crusher. What straight? It's the Commonwealth now, man. Common Bro actually full annexed all the European holdings from uh well, this is all European also, but in real they got Bul the Bulgaria and uh the Balkans and the other side of the street. The Ottomans don't even have a street anymore. They don't. Stop this. Ah, you mean early on? Oh yeah, okay. Believe me, I fought campaigns where I took on the Ottomans before 1480. And one. Ah, there we go. So, unless I'm overlooking something here, I'll call this myself. Just for some cleaner borders. And, uh. Muscovy will get jack shit. And I will just make sure that I occupy all this first. Next time. Syria and feed all this to Persia and feed Hormuz to Persia and then the reconquest for the Syrian cores and yeah not everybody knows how much you have achieved in the game I, I don't even know what you know that uh, that I have achieved in the game Chris uh, have you read my after action reports no I've achieved quite a lot in this game oh well Good memories though. But I still miss the old days where World Conquest was still World Conquest, man. Patch 1.17 very hard. Now that that was something. I'll never forget that Jangladesh campaign. It may have looked easy uh, in the after action report, but oh boy was it micromanaging needing and mi micromanaging heavy. So the plan now is to take all this and then to beat Hormuz to bloody pulp and just make a connection over here. What's, uh, yeah, only Shagatai and the Ottomans. Not even Hormuz will, uh, hate me for this. So time to end this Ottomans. Thanks a lot. Oh, shoot. I did it before I finished coring it all. Ah, no. I, that looks is quite unimpressed. Ah, there we go, another lurker. An, abs an absolute lurker, even. Anybody who played that long knows the outbreaks. Well, I've, I've never posted anything that I did in uh, E3. I, honestly, I didn't do a lot in E3. I only ever played, started playing the series really intensively after uh, E4 was out. Oh well, another benefit that may have not been obvious at first, but we can... Oh, shoot. I was saying, yeah, we can uh, outplay the uh, Hormuz Navy now, but I would need access from Yemen to do that. And they're allied... Wait, what? They're allied with Hormuz again? How did you do that? You're at war! Ah, uh, for the love of God, no. Oh, well then I'll just fight Yemen while at it. Okay, then I'll just take on Yemen. But first... Things first... Uh, what was I gonna do? 
yeah, release Persia and, uh, and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. Syria. Um, first to Persia. Okay, bam. And Syria. Kabam! <laughs> Pathetic fossils, really, but that's not the main point. The main point is uh, culture group and cores and stuff. So we'll feed. Always watch this, by the way. If you want to feed a vassal, I could I could feed all this to Persia also, but this is not in the cults. You just you gotta feed. What's the culture group to a vassal of the same culture? If you get my drift. So this is Syria and they accept all this as uh, accepted cultures. As uh, no, not accepted. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, accepted. It's, a, it's all in the same culture group. But Persia is this one. So we'll feed Persia with Grand Province, uh, the Kurdish province of Ilam. Like that, and all the rest can go to Persia. It can go to uh, Syria, Ash, or whatever. A Hindu nation releasing. S you get the idea. A lot of them crazy stuff. Yeah, Buddhists. We're doing Buddhist strike back, and we've struck back pretty hard already. So hard that we actually uh, united India already, and we are now killing off stuff that is in my way. Just because we can. Or something. Hmm. Level 2 forts? Are you kidding me, Hormuz? Oh boy. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, Mr. Hormuz. So, did we grant them everything over here? Just cannot see this. Oh, oh, I'm colorblind for green and red. Ottomans, Persia, and me next to one another. I don't see the difference. Yeah, wait a moment. Syria over here, Persia over here, Ottomans over here. Yeah, I got. It. I gave it all to them. So. So Muscovy, yeah, you still got the same stuff as Fatal Interest. Yeah, Ceylon is rolling over the... Uh, and we will form Barat once we finish this achievement. I hope that uh, for some reason Yemen actually doesn't... Uh, doesn't own honor the alliance. Oh, I got quantity. I got quantity, and I no, I'm not gonna lower my maintenance. Of course not. But silly if you're uh, facing rebellions. Good luck. Oh, thanks for visiting, Pam Benny, even though it's only for a minute. We can still form Barat, even at Bu even as Buddhists. Just need three stability, and yeah, that was what I was gonna do. Integrate the Timurids. Okay, bam. Oh yeah, before I forget, we gotta enable this again for even less integration cost. And then it's just a matter of uh, ah.
So now we don't even need claims anymore. I'm half tempted. Ah. Can I still get some tech bonuses here? How much? Spy now. Ah, it's still giving me 20% bonus here. I'm half tempted to take it just to get um, rid of unbalanced research. You got a problem with ideas for, uh, for uh, you mean custom nation Japan, huh? Yeah, Tokisaka, you, you should take a look at the uh, history then of your, uh, of the nation in Japan you live in, well the province and then see which blah blah blah, and then just take military ideas along with it and give you, uh, never give you uh, ideas and traditions and stuff to go along with it. But you, if you want to balance the army and the economy, what you gotta go for, Tokusaka, is just to create an economic power base. And once you got the economic power base, then you'll have the army, the, uh, the, um, the dosh, the ducats, the money, to create a full force limit army. But early on, I would actually... Uh, Go for military bonuses, like uh, just keeping your, just what what's important early on is tech up military. So what what I would do as a, as a custom nation Japan is give create a ruler with six in military, focus on military technology, and then flesh out uh, defensive first. Defensive is one of the best ideas you can take early on, and then just crush your neighbors. Make sure you're always ahead of time compared to your neighbors in Miltech and then you can easily fully unite Japan and then you just create an economic power base by invading Korea, Buryatia and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope that answered your question. So... When is the next administ... Ah, shoot! I should have probably gone up to, uh... Oh, well. Never mind. Thinking about too many... Too much stuff at once is never good. Oh, even Ming wants my money? Hi, Ming! Got a lot of money, but not that much. Okay, uh, we should focus on India. I think we are... I mean, with the conversions. Let's start down here. Where are my other missionaries? Yeah, one over there, one over here. Yashil Kul, in all honesty, I'm gonna recall you. This is more important now for the achievement. Any mission we can take, rival of rivals, France. Yeah, piss off, I'm not gonna ally France. No. <laughs> this is now our top priority. So because I'm a scholar, I can actually get 75 administrative power. Yeah, sure. Okay, granted, we got a lot. We got a lot of uh, inflation still. But... We should start uh, tacking up before the technology costs swings out of hand. Because I don't plan on going bankrupt anymore. <laughs> that mouth full of it. Before I forget, I'm gonna put the Timurids on Scootage. So that they don't, uh, that they don't stop integrating because of uh, occupied provinces. Oh, man, I'm gonna need some more can. I'm gonna need another rebel hunting stack over here. Uh. Ok, 
cannons. Somewhere, I don't know, somewhere here. There we go. 20. And then uh, some marks to go along with it. Did I ever pop my golden age? Ah, uh, good point! Uh, no, I didn't! I could do it now! I could do it now! Ha! <laughs> I totally forgot about it! No, well, I could do it now, I guess. Because uh, I'm not sure about the, uh... Heck, wait a moment! Wait one moment. Yeah, I could flip Revolutionary. Revolutionary Barat late game. And then... Yeah, I'll wait for it. Well, Soul Crusher, I don't know. I could take on the Ottomans again. Get a capital in Dagestan again, next war. And go Revolutionary after 1710. If I wanna go... If I really wanna do uh, the achievement for the, the Sun Ever Sets blah 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 achievement on the Indian Empire, I mean. And I should consider that, and then I'll trigger my Golden Age after I'll go Revolutionary, and then I'll trigger my Golden Age when going up to Minx. What does Revolutionary do? Uh, it gives you crazy bonuses. It gives you like 40% force limit, 40% naval limit, minus uh, regiment costs. So your army costs nothing and you can hire way more. If you combine that with quantity and offensive, you will have a million force limit, so to speak. You will uh, lose 0.15 war exhaustion a month. You become a republic and you get uh, a 50% Province war score CB on any nation. I sound really happy about it. Yeah, well, uh, wait a moment. I'm probably even forgetting stuff, I think. I'm trying to look up if I forgot anything from uh, Revolution. Yeah. So, being the Revolution target gives you 10% National Manpower modifier, 10% morale of army, 0.15 monthly war exhaustion reduction, minus 50% unjustified demands, minus 50% land maintenance modifier, minus 50% naval maintenance modifier, so your troops cost jack shit. 40% force limit for boats. You lose papal influence, but it doesn't really matter. And you also get spread the revolution castles below, but like I said, it's 50%. And you even got factions for more discipline then, and for even more uh, manpower. So it's crazy good. There's a guide on uh, just Google E4 revolutionary guide, and there's a guide on Steam how to do it. Pretty easy. That's pretty easy, trust me. Anybody else on the way here? What about the knights? Yeah, well, I don't know. I will. I will. Uh, I will do uh, Buddhist strikes back, and then. Uh, I'll bury the campaign to, to replay Fallout 2. Uh, I've been itching to do that for quite a while now. And once I finish Fallout 2, I will consider going uh, and finishing this achievement. The other one, for the for the Barat uh, tag, not for the uh, Ceylon tag. But I'm not sure if I will do it. 
But yeah, as Chris is saying, you even get more pro you even get more stuff. I even forgot a mentioning uh, a bit of it. <coughs> I even forgot me a little bit there. Ah, I can do this small. Oh. Ah, what the heck. I'll get that imperialism and then remove this. But yeah, getting the capital of our moose won't be uh won't be easy. Ha! <laughs> Thanks for the subscription, Manny's word. I think you're the second one. Thanks for uh supporting the channel. <coughs> I could do the knights, sure. Ah, what the heck. So, let's see. Yemen. Kilwa and Yemen are still bloody. How about Yemen? What if I attack Yemen? And the ga oh, independence guaranteed by Ethiopia, huh? Hmm. Needed that star next to the sword. Okay, thanks a lot. So yeah, we actually got all the all the provinces we need for the Buddhist tribe back. We're just converting stuff now, and we just beat the Ottomans into bloody pulp. And now we're considering, uh, we release Syria and Persia as uh, vassals now for a follow-up war, and now we, the plan is to stomp Hormuz. I think Kilwa won't be uh, involved in this war. Well, won't be, he says. Mm. I'm half tempted to imperialize Yemen. Because I can get ticking war score from their capital a lot easier. It's over here. They got mud bolt forts. And I could still make Hormuz co belligerent and call in Muscovy just for uh, shits and giggles. And it will actually help on my rebels and stuff. Hmm. Or do we go for Hormuz directly? So, yeah, I could reconquest, but the issue with that is you cannot do reconquest because if I do take these cores, you know, well, I think I'll do Yemen. Why? Because I still got a royal marriage with, uh, with Hormuz, don't ask. They will likely break it. As soon as I declare the war. So their only ally is Hamus and yeah, and these Yemen and Kilwa. Kilwa is in another war last I looked. Yeah, but Kilwa is winning because Portugal is at yeah. Let's uh, plan this ahead a bit better. Kilwa has like oh god. Loads of troops. But I don't think they will get access to Ethiopia. Yeah, because Ethiopia... Ah, we can actually ally Ethiopia. Oh, really now? Is that worth a slot? 75,000. Heck, they might join versus, uh... Well, why not? Prevents them from joining any coalition. But yeah, maybe now... Independence guaranteed by Ethiopia, huh? 
Yeah, but they're in depth. Ah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have bloody uh, allied them. So, like this, Muscovy gets called in. Ethiopia won't honor, honor the agreement because of depth, and Yemen is ripe for the taking. So, I do even mudballing this. For I doubt I can actually travel there, but we should declare the war at the start of the month, as we usually do. And uh oh. This might be me crashing again, because my game just froze. Um, game? Yeah, I think my uh, hard drive is crashing again. Man, when is that bloody issue gonna solve itself, I wonder? Well, if I'm lucky, my uh, game will get out of catharsis. If I'm not lucky, you will simply see me stop talking. And I'll refire the computer and, and, and uh, restart my campaign. Huh. What the heck? Nope. But my hard drive isn't crashing either. So what the heck? Ah, now it is. Yeah, okay folks, looks like we're gonna crash. I'll refire my computer and... Uh, I'll be back in like five minutes and announce it in the chat once I start streaming again. I still got like